This is Lenovo LOQ Gaming Laptop, a really powerful gaming laptop from Lenovo. I will let you know everything about this laptop, so make sure watch it till the end. First, have a look on this laptop's box content. Inside the box, here we have a user manual, Lenovo LOQ Gaming Laptop, 170 watt power adapter, and one power cord. This laptop is powered with latest Ryzen 7 7840HS processor, 16GB DDR5 RAM, 512GB NVMe Gen 4 SSD, and NVIDIA RTX 4050 GPU with 95 watt TGP. At the same time, here you will get a 15.6 inch full HD IPS display that comes with 45% NTSC 250 nits brightness and 144Hz of refresh rate. At the top here is a 720 pixel webcam and here is also a privacy shutter button that can be found on the laptop's right hand side and this one button can help you to enable and disable your webcam. At the same time if we talk about this laptop's build quality, the complete body is made up of a high quality plastic and the top you are not going to find any flags at all. On the keyboard section also there are very very minor flags can be seen. On the laptop backend side as always there are lots of vents available for air intake and here you will also find a two down fire speakers. At the same time if we talk about the air exhaust it can be seen on the laptop's left hand side, right hand side and the laptop's back hand side as well. At the top right corner of the lid here we have a LOQ branding at the same time in the downside here we will find a Lenovo branding. The overall total weight of this laptop is around 2.4 kg and the laptop really feels heavy in hand and obviously such a heavy laptop can be opened with the help of a single hand very easily. But one thing I would just like to tell you the screen wobbles a lot as here you can see it is still wobbling and if you also move the laptop from one place to another place it keep wobbles but if you keep the laptop at one place and you do lots of work on that case nothing to worry about the wobbling issues on this laptop other than this this laptop includes a full size keyboard that comes with a single color backlit and the backlit can be adjusted with the help of the function plus space bar button the backlit look really bright and the keys are really visible at the dark situations and the overall typing experience of the keyboard is also amazing so whether you do lots of typing works or you play lots of game i don't think you should have any complaint related to the keyboard at the same time here you will get a big size touchpad that comes with multi gestures while doing delivery tasks i haven't found any problem at all at the left hand side here you have usb type c port and 3.5 mm combo port for microphone and speaker on the right hand side here you can see one usb 2.0 port and the camera turn on and off switch at the back hand side you will find a most of the ports such as here we have two usb 3.2 gen 2 type a port that supports up to 10 gb of ps of data transfer rg45 port one hdmi and one dc input power port at the same time if we talk about the connectivity here we get bluetooth 5.2 and wi-fi 6. out of the box this laptop includes windows 11 and lenovo vintage application support with the help of this one application you can do lots of customizations such as you can enable the rapid charge via which you can charge this laptop very fast here we have multiple different thermal mode make sure while playing game choose the thermal mode as performance at the same time here you will also get a mock switch with the help of this you can enable the dedicated gpu mode means your laptop will run only on dedicated gpu the integrated gpu will be completely turned off so these are the basic configurations and features of this laptop now let's go forward and let's talk about the laptop performance so first of all, we are going to discuss about the benchmark scores. While running this indie benchmark test, single core score I got 1765, at the same time multi core score I got around 16409, that is pretty good score. Other scores I am showing you in the screen one by one, if you are interested you can read it by posting the video. Overall benchmark score of this laptop is pretty amazing, but only drawback is the SSD speed, while running the test I got. 3000 mbps of read and write speed now let's go forward and have a look on this laptop gaming performance first of all i played gta 5 and very high setting this game can be playable at 142 fps and the game runs very smoothly next i have tested days gone at various setting i was easily getting on an average of 85 fps while playing Elden Ring at maximum settings, here I was getting on an average of 60 FPS and this game maximum supports 60 FPS only. 
Next, I have tested God of War at ultra setting. I was getting 75 FPS. At the same time, at original setting, I was getting 144 FPS. The original time showing you side by side so that it will be easy for you to understand. While running Cyberpunk at ultra setting, the result was around 52 FPS of average score. At the same time, if you turn on the ray tracing, here I was getting on an average of 45 FPS. While running Final Fantasy 15 at high settings, I was getting on an average of 75 FPS. While running Mafia Definitive Edition at high setting, I was getting on an average of 90 FPS. Next, I have tested Spider-Man Miles Morales at very high setting. I was getting on an average of 75 plus FPS, and the game runs very very smoothly. At the same time, we enable the ray tracing. Here, we can enjoy the game on an average of 65 FPS. While playing Shadow of Tomb Raider at highest settings, I was getting an outstanding performance of 140 FPS and that is without enabling the DLSS. Next, I have run the Star Wars Jedi at epic settings that is the maximum setting of this game and here I was getting on an average of 115 FPS and this game also runs very smoothly. Next, I have tested The Last of Us that is pretty heavy game and this game was unplayable at ultra setting and the game was getting crashed. But this game can be easily playable at high setting on an average FPS of 56. At the same time, at low setting, I was getting on an average 83 FPS. And on these settings, the game runs very smoothly. While playing Red Dead Redemption 2 at favor quality, that is the maximum setting of this game. And here I was getting on an average of 70 FPS. While running Far Cry 5 at extreme settings, I was getting 63 FPS. And the game runs very smoothly. And at the same time, if you run the game at high setting, here you can enjoy it on an average of 174 FPS. Next, while playing Far Cry 6 at ultra setting, I was getting on an average of 98 FPS. Even this game also runs very smoothly. Next, I have tested Assassin's Creed Valhalla benchmark at ultra high setting. You can get on an average of 66 FPS. At the same time, at low setting, I was getting on an average score of 137 FPS. And I believe this game can be easily playable at all the settings available in it. At the end, I have tested Valorant at high setting. That is the maximum setting of this game. And here I was getting on an average of 320 plus FPS and even this game also runs very very smoothly. So as here you have seen most of the game can be playable very easily at maximum settings on this laptop and overall gaming performance is really really impressive. But there are a few drawbacks that I would like to share with you. Number one, while running the game, the temperature reach around 95 to 97 degree but the game do not lag that is the main plus point. Next thing, this laptop comes with a mug switch that is a plus point plus a negative point as well because the time I was trying to play games by enabling the mug switch, the game was lagging a lot because if you enable the mug switch, the temperature is crossing even 97 degree. Most of the games are unplayable if you enable the mug switch. So just disable mug switch and play the games, all the games will run very smoothly. Whatever gaming test I have shown you in this video, all are tested without enabling the Max switch. Now let's go forward and have a look on the most commonly asked questions. How much RAM does this laptop support? See by default this laptop support maximum 16 GB of RAM and here you will get 16 GB means there is no option to upgrade. How many SSD slots are available in this laptop? There are two SSD slots available. One is covered with 512 GB SSD and there is one empty slot also available that's form factor is 2280 means in future you can very easily upgrade the SSD on this laptop. Next question, can we do 4K editing? Yes, you can very easily do 4K editing on this laptop. I have tested to render 10 minutes of 4K video and it took total time 43 minutes and 46 seconds. At the same time, I have also tested to render full HD video and it took only 7 minutes and 14 seconds. Last question, what is the battery backup of this laptop? Max to max while running the laptop at silent mode, that is the extreme lowest setting. Then here you will get around 2.5 hours to 3 hours of battery backup and it's also depend on your usage. This is all about today. I hope you have found this video helpful. Then kindly hit the like button and if you are planning to buy this laptop right now, Make sure to check the link given in the description section below or else you can also click here to buy it right now. If you are new here, do subscribe it and also hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.